In this video, we will review how to create a Hive form. So to create the form, we first need to start with our apps menu. And you can see the form workspace app is enabled here. I'm going to pin that to my left hand bar so I can quickly access it easily in the future. So let's click on it over here. And what that will do is that will open our form manager. And this is where you can create your new form and manage any existing forms. I'm going to click on create new form. So first thing we have to do is title our form. And I want to use this for ad hoc work requests. And we need to give this a description because we what we have to do is help people understand what we expect of them. So Perfect. So that is our description. Now, moving down our form, what we can do is we can start building out the questions and the items that we expect the individual completing the form to, to submit to us. So on the left hand side, you'll see a toolbox. And this toolbox consists of all the components that you can use to build your form. And what you'll want to do is select them and drag and drop them onto the right hand box here, which is where your form will be constructed. So the first thing I want to know in my form is who is requesting this um, ad hoc work. And when you select and drag a component over, you get the option to edit. So let's give it a title. So let's call it client name. And within every question or every component you add to a Hive form, you're given a number of options. So let's walk through these. Firstly, whether we want the question visible, which we do. And then also let's make this question required. We want to ensure that this uh, information maps to the title of our action card. So I'm going to select map to action title and I'm going to deselect map to action description. So we can pick within the action card where the information submitted on the form lands. And further down, you can see we can create custom fields and we can also map to project title. So we can do project and action card management here. And I'll click OK and that will create our question. So the next thing I want to look at is I want to understand what um, what line of business that this work um, applies to. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click the radio group. And I'm going to select that and drop that here below my form. And let's edit it. And it is required again. We want to map it to the action description in this instance, not the title or the project custom fields. And we want to provide some choices. So if we click choices here, let's change this first one to SEO. Let's change second, search. And let's change the third to display. OK, let's click OK again and you'll see our question appears here. The third thing I would like to understand is the date. And from our date picker, let's drag it over here and let's reformat. Now it is required. And what I want to understand here is the due date. Now, there's a great way we can handle dates within Hive Forms and Action Cards is we can map it to the action due date, but we can also create an action custom field because what I can do now is when this form is submitted, it will take a note of the date that was requested when it was submitted and also populate the due date of the action card. And that means should the due date of the action card or the work to be done change, I still have a record on my action card of the original requested due date. So I'm going to click OK. And then we need to put in a, an area for the client to detail their request. So let's use a text area for that. Drop it in, edit again. request details and it is required. We're going to map it to the action description and click OK. Great. So those are all the, the questions that I want to ask. 
And potentially there's one more option that you want to offer users, and that would be to attach files or documents to this submission. So let's set that up now. So let's click our file component, drag it down, and we'll just drop it in here. And you can see that I maybe don't want it to sit above the requested details. So I'm going to grab that and drag above and it reorders. Let's go ahead and edit here and let's call this relevant files. Now, we don't necessarily want to mark this as required because there may be an instance where there is no documentation or files to attach. So let's leave that alone. But one recommendation I would make is to click allow multiple files. And that will mean if your user has two or three documents to send you, then they will send them to the, they will send them onto the form. We also want to make sure it maps to the action attachments so you can open and download and we're done. Now, scrolling down our form, we have our behavioral settings. And, and this is what happens when a form is submitted. The first thing I'm going to do is untick the box of form name. So when a form is submitted, I don't want it in the, the title of the action card. I'm going to write a quick confirmation message. Thank you. Perfect. And then let's set the conditions. So what I want this form to do is firstly, I would like it that when it is submitted, it will land in my project, which is called ad hoc work intake. I would like this work to assign to me. And I'm also going to have it engage an action template. So let's just pop the creative review action template in in this instance to see how this works. Another option you have is to set it so that when a form is submitted, it creates a new project and that will be created with these members and also applying any templates that you wish to see. So those are all the settings I want. And importantly, don't forget to click save and it will save our form into our manager. Now I'm going to quickly copy the URL because this is how people will submit forms to you in the future. And let's take a look at what our form looks like. And here's our form here. So you can see ad hoc requests. And we can fill in all of our boxes there. And that's how we create a form in Hive.